Hi friends, welcome back to Frosty Eye Candy. So again, I'm gonna jump straight in and show you the dried and resin results. So here she is, and I really wanted to showcase Boastful in this, in this swipe, because I just really felt it had a lot to give. And if we're gonna use it, use it with some complementary other colors, but kind of use this as the main feature because it really is a main feature. You can see the beautiful kind of light blue it's making up here and it goes down to a kind of teedy green and it goes down to an emerald. And if I hold it flat like that, you get this fantastic purple. It's just, you know, I mean, there's, there's comedian pigments <laughs> or things that change color and then things like this is just absolutely amazing. I absolutely love it. But anyway, so how did I get to this one? Let me run through some colors with you. Uh, I think I just mentioned, maybe I didn't, maybe I did, that uh, the pillow is Anchors Away by Color To Go. And there's the color Anchors Away. It's a very, very beautiful, pseudo neutral, dark, dark navy blue. So uh, there we go, that's going down as the pillow. And then the colors that I'm putting down, first of all was the really fantastic and bright grunge by this little piggy. And this is one of the disco pigs, so it's black light reactive. So it really does, uh, it really does shine and uh, do some great stuff. Uh, then on top of the grunge, I'm gonna put down a little bit of this one, which is, da da da, there we are. Blue eyes by this little piggy. Beautiful light blue color with a bit of a blue interference flash to it. So that's very pretty. Then we put down uh, the boastful. There we go, there's the boastful. Uh, see if I can get the camera to pick it up. It's very tricky. But yes, yeah, this beautiful kind of beautiful green, blue, dark purple kind of interference uh, chameleon pigment. And there you go, boastful, boastful. And then I'm gonna put down a little bit of this one. Uh, this is the golden uh, light phthalo blue. No, it isn't actually. Now I'm looking at the place, <laughs> looking at the piece. I don't put this down. It's actually a little bit more of the blue eyes and then the grunge that I sprinkle on top or drizzle on top of the boastful that I put down. But there we go, and the CA that I'm using. Again, it's the uh, metallic accents, Rust-Oleum. This is the gold mine. Uh, da -da -da. Gold mine, there you go. And I use the Shelly Art Recipe uh, Selectivator of Australian Floetrol and uh, metallic paint. Um, the ratio that I usually use is somewhere between three to four uh, to one when I'm mixing with Amsterdam paints and using their colors as a CA. But with the Rust-Oleum metallic accents, it's already quite thin, the paint. So we only need to use uh, two to one. So two parts Australian Floetrol, one part of this paint. Okay then friends, that's enough of the chitty chat, chitty chat and getting it wrong, trying to tell you that there's phthalo blue in there and there certainly isn't. Let's have another look. You see, no, there's no phthalo blue. But let's just have another look at this beautiful, see this color there, that beautiful baby blue kind of, and then it goes into the teal. And see if we can get that purple again. Gosh, the purple's just so pretty. Let's turn around this way, see if we can get, there we go. Gorgeous. Anyway, that's enough of show and tell. That's enough chitty chat chat. We'll get the camera pointing down and we're gonna start to paint. Okay, friends? So now on to the voiceover part of the video. And this wooden cradle I'm using is a rather odd measurement of nine by 12. I had to measure it a couple of times to make sure, but yeah, nine by 12. So uh, the pillow that we have there is uh, Anchors Away by uh, Color To Go from Sherwin Williams. And that first color I've just put down is TLP Grunge. It's one of the disco pigs or one of their black light reactive pigments and it glows particularly well under a black light. So the next color I'm just putting down there here, friends, this is the Blue Eyes by TLP. Very beautiful light blue with a interference blue quality to it. So this is the best way I've found really to layer your paints or your pigments along with the new stuck up pigs from uh, this little piggy. And the one we're using today, of course, we, we already know from the intro video, is called Boastful. So I've put a couple of the pigments down first, and now I'm putting down a nice, a nice load of Boastful. <laughs> and uh, as it says on the top of uh, the little lid, a little container, 
boastful, and all of the uh, SUPs, the stuck-up pigs, the chameleon pigments, they are all opaque. So my thinking here is if I layer a couple of pigments first, then do the layer of the uh, chameleon pigment, boastful, and then just a thin drizzle you're going to see me do. I'm, I'm actually just getting the last bits of the boastful out of the pot. But uh, then my idea is just to thinly drizzle uh, a little bit of grunge and then a little bit more of the uh, Blue Eyes by TLP on top of the Chameleon Pigments and then swipe to uh, hopefully get the best results. And as you saw from the beginning of the video, uh, I don't think the results were too bad at all. We got a great use of the uh, Chameleon Pigment with a lovely little kind of fade and interfering of this blue eyes I'm putting on top of it and then as I've already said a little thin drizzle of the grunge and here we go while we're waiting for me to do that I'd love to tell you about our show every Sunday live at 1 p.m. PST that will be 4 p.m. Central Time and 5 p.m. on the East Coast of North America our show, The Joy of Pouring, with me, your host, Cy Frost. It's a live acrylic pouring show where we have a great deal of fun in the live chat with all the interaction between the people, and it's a jolly good time. So please join us, 1 p.m. PST, every Sunday, for The Joy of Pouring. So you've just seen me drizzle thinly the grunge on top of that. And then I'm just getting the tool. There we go, thinking which one to use. And um, bingo, that one we are going to use. It's the smaller of the two paddles, let's call them. But we are using the uh, Rust-Oleum Goldmine as a cell activator. And we are using the Shelley Art recipe. If you'd like to know what Shelley Art is, please follow the web address on the bottom of the screen right now. It's an online pouring course that I've taken myself, many of my peers have taken, and uh, we all highly recommend it. Uh, it's an online course that you can take at your leisure. And I even have a 15% off discount code that I will put on the screen right now. So please feel free to share this code, friends, and please enjoy the course and let me know what you think. So on the bottom of the swiping tool there, I've got some of the Rust-Oleum gold mine, and then we've also got some of the uh, Prussian blue by Amsterdam. <laughs> Sorry, had to think for a second there. And uh, my cell activator is mixed up, around about three to one for the Amsterdam paints and two to one for the Rust-Oleum gold mine. But then we go for a close-up for the swipe. And not looking too bad at all. Interesting composition already. So in, in let's go for another close-up and we can watch these cells develop. It does take a little bit longer for the Rust-Oleum Goldmine cell activator to sink, uh, rather than the Amsterdam paints, which are far more instant. But uh, I found that the uh, cells hold their structure really nicely. And if I'd mixed the paint any thinner, it really doesn't work too well at all as a cell activator. So this is the best I've found. If you can find a better ratio, please let me know in the comments. So when we go for a real nice solid close up of those cells forming, really, really beautiful. And out we go now for some modification. While we're waiting for me to do that, I'd love to tell you about our Facebook group, the Acrylic Crazy Train. If you haven't already uh, heard about us or joined the group, it's an acrylic pouring group for beginners on Facebook, The Acrylic Crazy Train. We have many, many wonderful artists from all over the world just waiting to help you and watch you succeed. So once again, beginners, please join The Acrylic Crazy Train on Facebook. So I'm just doing the last few little, little modifications here and there but with the amount of pillow that I've put down, I know the uh, centerpiece is going to expand nicely. But it's always fun just to play with the paint and make these little modifications. Hmm, just wondering whether I should do any more, but no, I think that might be it. So, wow, we're already getting a nice show of the depth with the boastful used on top of the two other pigments with a thin drizzle of the others. 
It's looking good already. So for everybody watching for the first time or just beginning and learning, uh, this is what I call wetting the edges. If we get some of the pillow paint and some of the excess paint from the edge, and just make sure the edge, edges of your cram canvas or cradle are wet. This will help the paint find the edge and then flow nicely down over the edge onto your spinner board or whatever you're using. Uh, I find this is a better technique and it, uh, it minimizes the risk of uh, paint splatters flying off your piece or your piece flying off your spinner altogether. So if you're watching this and you haven't subscribed, I would love to ask you, please subscribe, my friends, please. When you subscribe, you can interact in the live chats in my premieres. You can also like and then also comment on my videos. Uh, the like is very important as well because the more likes my videos get, the more likely YouTube are to suggest my videos to new people. So please, again, Please call to arms, my friends, or a call to action. Please subscribe. Thank you so much. And I would like to tell you that this piece is actually dried and resined and for sale. Fortunately, I cannot update it in my, uh, in my Facebook store. I need a new laptop. But if you are interested in this piece, please let me know in the comments. Give me your contact details. And I would love to find their forever home for this piece right here. So there we go after the first spin, in for a close up to see how the piece has expanded and grown. Really pretty, very pretty indeed. I just love the little ring of boastful there uh, that I put outside of the swipe and then just modified. So it just gently changes color in the top right right now in the different light shades, looking really good. but just wetting a couple more of the edges, <laughs> just helping the paint. But yes, if you'd like to support me, please visit my Facebook store while it is still running and the pieces that are displayed are for sale. It's a great way of supporting uh, your artists and your favorites and a great help to me getting some stock out of the house. So even go for the second spin, my friends. leaving it in real time, again, for everybody watching for the first time and everybody that's just learning. It's very important to see how long and how fast I spin for. I do let my pieces spin just a little bit longer than other artists, just because I believe it gives the paint a little more chance to again, meet the edge of the cradle or canvas and flow down nicely over the edge. Bidding me go for another close up and looking pretty sharp. The movement there in the top left hand corner is just very pretty indeed. I'm very happy with this piece. Excellent. I'm not quite sure which way it should be hung. Quite like it this way, but please tell me in the comments if you prefer it portrait or landscape. I'm quite thinking I like that landscape. But I'll mind you, I like that landscape view as well. <laughs> Please let me know in the comments and help me out which way to actually hang it. And again, if you're interested in this piece, please leave a comment and uh, I shall get in touch with you. So, looking pretty good. Just lifting the piece up and out. Wow, that green gold flash is just pretty amazing. So here we go, my friends. There's that beautiful green gold. And I'll see if I can try to get it to change to the lovely blue. It is ever so difficult to show all the variants in colors that these chameleon pigments do. But I think it's looking great. There's that beautiful light blue to the purple. But anyway, thank you for joining me, my friends. Please like, share, and subscribe. Click the logo bottom right to subscribe. And happy pouring. <laughs>